Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be playing part two of Little Miss Fortune. When we left off, it was crazy, it was hectic, it was all over the place. I was just in complete shock about all the stuff that I've seen so far. We've come across this underground cave where this club where all these hamsters and and we just came out came out from the sewer, so but if you want to check out part one, I leave it up somewhere up here somewhere. We can find that. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is where we left off. We came from the sewer right there. And like we're out here in the city. Or wherever we are. Look, a missing kid. Oh. <laughs> the delivery though. <laughs> missing child. Call one one twelve. I mean one one two, I mean. She looks around the same age as her. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. <laughs> don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I'll I go back, too. This with all these birds. I, can't think, I keep thinking every time I see a bird. I... Hello. <gasps> uh. Okay. Why she got a mask on? What's going on? Why have I got a why she got a mask on? But yeah, that looks like the picture from the little girl right there. The missing poster. Like little girl. Same thing we saw with George. Yeah, everybody got a mask on. Oh wait. Ugh, smells like bull crap. Miss Fortune, watch <laughs> your language. <laughs> okay. Oh, you were correct about that, but she was saying damn earlier. Are you in his like the Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Phantasmagoria, what's that? Are you finna what you finna do? Oh yeah, you better walk away. I don't know, I couldn't trust him. The world needs a plan, and I can't understand what all the rest of this stuff is. Oh look, kill Monday games. Phantasmagoria, the horror fair. Ooh, cool. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. Alright, I can't wait. <laughs> well, could we get to go to a fair? Nice. <gasps> oh, Look, Benjamin! It's Benjamin from the Hoots in the Woods! <laughs> you know? If you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild <laughs> fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Oh, okay. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Some may write about this. I mean, we got people out here wearing masks. Like, these happy faces masks, whatever you want to call them. We got Benjamin out here holding up posters. What he doing? Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I... Didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. Wait, wait, wait. Let me collect my thoughts real quick. So we got Benjamin the Fox, okay? Holding up these signs that say, Hide your children. Hide, hide your children. With a picture of some monster thingy with horns, the antlers things. So, I mentioned last episode that maybe Benjamin is trying to help us. And Mr. Voice is setting us up for something. I've been noticing we've been seeing a lot of children wound up missing in this game. That's that's the second person we've seen so far that we saw as as a ghost, right? So George, George is the kid, right? Or is that the dad? I think George is the kid. And we also saw the little girl's poster on the, on the fence back there, and we just saw her apparition, her ghost. So it makes me think that are these children? It's what Benjamin is trying to protect. Is he trying to tell them to hide? I'm not sure. And I think... And I think... 
Miss Fortune is starting to catch on because she mentioned earlier that she, she just wants to go home at this point because she's just not feeling it. She's not trusting it. And I don't trust anything. What's with these people with these masks? I said that like three times already, but <laughs> some just don't feel right about this at all. Are we going to the park? Yes. Okay. All right, going to the park. Oh, sit down, you fuck. Oh, misfortune. <laughs> what? Language. Ah. Oh, he's speeding up fast like that. I said him the same thing. You better watch where you're going. Where's the fish? Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! <laughs> oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make Mommy proud. Yes. So we're just gonna ignore those dropping birds? And I saw missing posters again. The kid. I don't know if it's the same girl or different pictures of little kids, but... She didn't see all that? I can't understand this language. It says, don't feed the birds. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, feed the birds, you gonna tell me twice. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death um. is alive and it's eating from you. Sign and... Mm, oh? Interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Read now, <laughs> might as well. <laughs> Yeah, listen to this one. Both hanging too low. No signature. Where are <laughs> they hanging from? Oh, look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, um, Miss Fortune, let's go. All right. I am a head out. Cause what the hell was that? Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Fascinating. Remember that fish you picked up earlier? You mean Rodrigo? My fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm. I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do. I guess. Guess? Give the fish away? I just asked about the fish not too long ago. Give the fish or keep the fish. This feels like a deja vu moment with that dog when we gave the dog the... Tried to play with the dog. <sighs> Should I keep the fish? Is the fish even alive at this point? Knock yourself out. Why my phone keep going up? I hope this fish brings you as much joy and love as it did to me. That was very kind of you. Thank you. Why are we even talking to a... What? Oh no! Rodrigo is dead now! Of course! Seagulls love eating fish. Why didn't you say something? Well, now you know. Isn't it fun to learn? I guess so. Oh gosh. I'm having the terrible luck with animals this game. I'll bury him later. Oh. <sighs> That's not funny. <laughs> Would you like to ride the royal halls of the park? Sure, why not? Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. <laughs> I like how she carries herself like that. Look at me. I'm on the horse. I'm <laughs> horsey. Stop it. Oh. oh. Ah, uh, that was unfortunate. Are you all right? I'm okay. 
Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. <laughs> you are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So, you know what I mean. Oh my, God. <laughs> my phone keep going off. Let's just keep going. I thought she was going to throw up, but she wasn't surprising me. Check out that duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for reals. Would you like to show What's me going some on? of your dance moves? Show off your dance moves. Show off your dance moves and let the duck dance. I'm tired of dealing with these animals, man. Just let them dance. Just, just let them dance. Nah. I haven't practiced for a while. <laughs> I leave it to the pros. Oh, cute. Cool dancing. Oh. oh. I'm okay. I'm okay. Man, you know what? I'm okay. The fact that you did that twice, though. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. I'm gonna need you to catch these hands, uh, goose, duck, whatever your name is. We're supposed to blow up choke on it. <laughs> Would you like to write this one? It's like a tornado. Ooh. <sighs> Go ahead. The fact that that thing just kicked me twice. <laughs> yes, I want to ride. What am I doing? <laughs> oh no, misfortune. <laughs> the fact that all this is happening, she still has a smile on her face. Must protect the child. Another doll. I got an achievement. Hey doll number two. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashed against the stone. When the trees are naked, the wind is cold, and it's one of rotten apples against the tree. When the trees Stone? are naked, <laughs> when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Mmm, apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Yeah, what was that? I still don't know what that jack doll, the, the first doll meant. There it is this again. looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. So is he saying hi to children from that monster thingy right there? So what are we doing? Who's the monster? Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> Wait, did I did I grab Rodrigo back there? I think I did. The birds. What's with the birds? I keep thinking they're about to get me. So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. I'm All pretty right. good at answering questions. Great. <clears throat> Just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question. Have you ever stolen anything? Are they asking me or are they asking... Misfortune this. Have you ever stole anything? I mean, yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid. I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, I'm so sorry for the both of you. <laughs> Second question. Are you happy right now? Am I happy right now? I mean, I'm happy to be here. I'm finally able to do something that I want for a change, like with this YouTube thing. Hmm. I mean, what's, 
what's going on right now in this world right now? I ain't really so happy about that. Not gonna lie about that. So am I happy like right now, like in this moment right now? Mentally? Probably not. Man, that's just tough, that's tough. <laughs> I'm just saying no. Well, not really. Many things make me sad. That's why I want the prize so much. Then I can stop pretending I'm always happy. Ah, oh, I see. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? Do you feel loved? I don't, like I said, I still don't know if he's talking to me personally or is he talking to Miss Fortune? Given what's going on with her family life, family dynamics, I say it's pretty dysfunctional. Mm. You said the answer honestly. Uh. Oh God. I'm pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. She didn't mention her dad, though. But that was like, what? Confessing my sins or something? Another poster up there. See? More missing children. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, uh, okay, nice. I was gonna mention earlier that were these children also a part of what Mr. Voice got misfortune doing? Cause you just so notice just so happens to see like there's a bunch of missing kids going going around. And that looks like Hero. Hero, her Japanese friend in her diary. I don't think we can open a diary up right now. I don't know. But yeah, it looks like him with the cow with the cowboy hat. It's like hero. There's the cute Monday. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish. All right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Take <laughs> forever. No. Use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. Ah, that shovel. Okay. Now that looked a lot ominous. A lot more ominous than when the ball came out of nowhere. That thing literally came from the ground. Who are you, Mr. Voice? Are you the enemy? Are you responsible for all this? Some ain't right. Some it's starting to, it's starting to dawn this on me right one now. Says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> Dig the grave. No, I think we should find an empty one. Nah. Are, are these birds following me? Okay, let's see. Little Lulu. The first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> <laughs> how you how a dog strangle someone? No, I don't think this is the fish. Why why am I turned that way? Hmm. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Oh, hmm. Erotic novel. <laughs> Talk about crazy. Fifty Shades of Cat. <laughs> no. Nah, this is obviously a cat. That's what looking for. Fish grave or something? It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's in pool. Yeah, yikes forever. I mean, you stepped in it, so. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, that one stands uh, up. Let's see. Roger the magpie. Never saw that window coming. Huh? Oh. I don't get it. I see an empty one down there. Nah, 
I don't think so. I'll keep looking. Look, this grave is available. What do you want to do? Oh, uh, yeah, we should just go go ahead and bury him here. I think I'll bury Rodrigo here. He deserves it. Any last words? Rodrigo smelled like a fish. I like that in a fish. He was <laughs> nice. I hope he liked me. Bye, Rodrigo. Oh, there's a... There's a... A fly. That right. was beautiful. Thank you. We got an achievement for rotten fish. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Um... That sounded like a fish grave right there. Damn, I should have should have kept looking. Uh. Congratulations, oh. Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Eternal happiness. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Sign, Benjamin. Okay. A whole 360 here. It didn't. What's going on? My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. So, so why did... I forgot all about the glitter. <laughs> Damn, that made me think, what if I miss some other more stuff? Can I sprinkle it? Uh, oh, there he is. Look, there he is. Benjamin, did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. What the hell? Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. Benjamin didn't even make an effort to run away earlier. <laughs> when he found out he stole the, her happiness, he wasn't even that far. He was just standing right here. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for a while they're in pain. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for a while they're in pain. Now that one started making a little bit more in sense. Pain? <sighs> Did you find something? Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. So that's three dolls. I wonder why she's not telling him she found these dolls. Like, that's the only thing she hasn't told him. Or in the ghost. She, said she never told him about the ghost that she saw. Hmm. Huh. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. Why does music change like that? Oh, what did I do? Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh, what does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Mm. Oh. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. I'll put it back. So do I take it? The music changed. I don't like this. I better leave me alone, bird. Aha, there. 
That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. I don't trust him. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Oh! oh. Benjamin ain't gonna attack us, is he? Mm-mm. I can't... No. Mm-mm. How am I gonna get oh. out of here? That was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? <sighs> Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. How ironic. Oh, damn. I dropped it. Oh. <laughs> so how are we going to get out of here? Fox repellent. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why are there fox repellent down here? Oh. Okay. Oh, oh there you are. What are you doing? Benjamin? Used to fox with pulling on Benjamin. I mean, he seems so harmless. If he had multiple times to attack us, but he never did. He just ran off. What I using on him? <gasps> Benjamin! Oh. oh! Oh my gosh. What's going on? What have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Oh. Maybe it was a mistake choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? <laughs> it's not natural. Uh, how'd I get out of here? Yep, and there's a throw up. Miss Fortune, you're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See, I told you, that fox is evil. Yeah, maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes, give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. So I'm go this way? She threw up again. <laughs> Local artist GM retires after incident. My son is missing. Bird invasions. We didn't win, but we did. We, we had fun. Local artist retires after incident. His son is missing. Is that George? Yeah, because we in his house, we saw like a bunch of paintings everywhere. Let's see what's new. What's with the bird invasion? I'm glad they talking about the bird. I know I'm not. I'm not. I'm not playing tricks. I'm like, where do you birds come from? Well, the zoo. You know, with the animals. Open field zoo. Okay, cool. I actually made a quick Google search. Mm -hmm. I found out the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. So I mentioned earlier, why, like, why was there a fox repellent under the cave in Benjamin's house? Was that his house? I don't know. But, uh, should I have? Nah, I don't think I really should have used the repellent. Because like I said, he's been harmless this whole entire time. He had every right to attack me whenever he wanted. But he didn't. I don't know if Mr. Mr. Voice left the repellent there. Or not. So we went to the zoo now? 
open fields. Huh, how did I get to the town center? I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, wait, my shoelace. What you about to do? Um... There. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? <laughs> Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Oh, let's just keep going then. <sighs> he... He really just did that. There's another missing pulse. Oh, oh. Hi, you look familiar. What? Yeah, all these missing kids just coming out of nowhere. Missing? Wait a minute. Is that Daniela Bambini? You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. She's very Italian, you know. <laughs> she probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. So much chaotic. So much chaos is going around. Like, why are all these children becoming missing? Are they at two trying to look for this happy internal happiness thing? What's with the mask, though? Ah, oh, those people in the picture look so happy drinking their yields. Don't drink juice, kids. <laughs> yeah, if I got a mask on. Is that a train? Jenny brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hacks strangers by the dumpster. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm at a loss for words right now. That man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Steal it or return it. Return it. I don't know him. Wait, sir. You dropped your wallet. Okay. Is this for me? A lottery ticket? Cool. Thank you. Well, have a look. Is it a winner? Wait. <laughs> you win. You win. You lose. Great. Ah, uh, no win. Maybe next time. How unfortunate. One time mommy took me here and forgot me. I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was a raccoon. <laughs> well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. <laughs> was she really out of it to the point where she literally left her child here? Like I said, I'm just having lost for words. I'm speaking. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny though. Yeah, see these happy faces. What's going on? It says, let's face it. Sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. Happy face. What is. So we're all just faking emotions around here, pretending to be happy, wearing these fake masks? But the thing I noticed is that Miss Fortune's not wearing a mask. I wonder if her mom's wearing one or her dad. But she's not wearing one because she's always smiling and happy all the time despite what's been going on la lately. Whoa. Look at all these missing children. Look, even more missing children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? 
Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. Sure is. There's Hero, there's the girls we saw earlier. Why are these children missing? Is that why they're all wearing the mask? Because they're trying to stay happy despite the fact that their children or grandchildren are wearing Here we are. Missing? Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. Okay. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved and that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. <laughs> two minutes, sir. It says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it, maybe you'll need a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Uh. Alright, I guess we get the ride for free. They got masks on too, though. Should I sit down and wait? Do as you please. Okay, thank you. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Check those old ladies out. Oh. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Oh, really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Nah, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. Yes, I was asking earlier, does the mom wear a mask and the dad? Free of regrets, free of self-doubt, free of harm. Hmm. Get happy This face. bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiriba do kudasuka. <laughs> you are really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. Kiriba do kudasuka. Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. What does oh, that mean? I love cows. What does that mean? That's so cute. <laughs> Ew, that's a little bull crap. Run for your life, little baby cow. <laughs> Did you see that baby cow? Uh, unlucky things seem to happen all the time. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. I just wanna know who the enemy is. That's what wow. I wanna know. Here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh? Didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear. I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without paying. Hmm. Sneaky. I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store and she got some free food. But I haven't got any titties yet, so that might not work. I see. Please. Well, I have an idea. Like, what if we use diversion? Hmm. What does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay, let me think what I can do. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord. Huh, Oof. they know about the missing children here. Huh, they know about uh, the missing children here. More missing children here, too. <gasps> A wolf! Can I pet the wolf? He looks really sweet. Just wait and see, Miss Fortune. Wait and see. <laughs> okay, I'll wait and then I'll see. <laughs> 
Mm. Hello, can I get inside for free? Huh, I guess not. Oh. Any tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. Okay. Okay, this is breakable. Like, like with a rock or something. Like, like a stone. Hmm, I think I came up with an idea. What if... How to get inside the zoo? Break the window or tell a lie. Do I even have a rock? Uh, in the GTA this, I guess. What if I break this window and make a hell of a noise? <laughs> oh, that was wow. a bad idea. That's a wild idea, but I like it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's a bad idea. Is there a way I can... Oh. I can't... He's gonna hear me, or whoever that is. I'm surprised they didn't blame me for it. That was easy. Isn't this wonderful? We'll get to see so many caged animals. Oh, <laughs> caged animals? By the way, you did a great job not getting caught by the vendor. Very impressive. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> but now, we should find out where the wolf exhibit is. Why? You mean Benjamin's cousin is a wolf? Yes. Remember, he knows where the fox lives. All right. I thought we were going to get caught too, the way he was coming at us like that. Look, dirty nom nom. <laughs> oh, what? What did you just say to me? Give yourself a fuck. Ooh. Oh, misfortune. Watch that mouth. I don't care. This bird is mean. Oh, dear. We need to get your happiness back as soon as possible. So are we looking for this? Is our happiness fading away too? Pirate parrot. Bird. Num num parrot. Lifespan 10 to 20 years. Diet omnivore. Widely spread around the planet. Story. This kind of parrot lives across the entire world. They talk too much but say very little. They usually work together with human pirates. Normal, natural born thieves. Founder of the Liberation Front. It says, the Nam Nam Parrot. This kind of parrot lives across the entire world. They talk much, but say very little. They usually work together with human pirates. Natural born thieves. Founders of the Liberation Front. Huh. Mean birdie Nam Nam. <laughs> That's great. No. Look, this bird seems pretty smart. It isn't. Trust me. Move on, Miss Fortune. Okay. These birds, these animals, whatever you want to call them, they act like humans or something. Look, oh, this right, bird Christy. seems pretty smart. It isn't. Trust me. Move on, Miss Fortune. Okay. Can <laughs> you look in the picture? <laughs> it says, Owl Delicious. These owls normally hang near libraries, bookstores, and coffee shops. Although they seem incredibly smart, their huge self-centered lifestyle drives them to gather useless information. They live off a pension. <laughs> Funny bird. <laughs> that's, the most, that's the biggest judgmental look I've ever seen. Oh, that's that bird we saw in the sky when we were getting captured by them birds. Huh? It says, Fuck you, Delios. This shit deals. <laughs> These birds multiply at a very high rate with different partners, leaving behind dysfunctional offspring. They don't care about anything as long as they are occupied by mindless entertainment. 
Oh, really? They were giving you the finger. <laughs> I ain't never heard of that before in my life. Steal bird seeds. I'm gonna steal them for. I guess. Oh, are oh, we gonna get caught? I'll take the seeds because I want to feed the birds so they're not hungry. Sunflowers. Oh, what birds? Well, so much to see and do. Find the wolf area so we know where to go. I think the zoo is about to close. There, you see? Pet the wolfie. Great job. Let's hurry up now. Number six. What's that noise? Oh, I thought somebody was in the bathroom. You know, I'm feeling really annoyed. Like a lot. What's happening to me? I smell hormones waking up inside you. What? Oh. Hormones? No. Hormones. Ah, oh, okay. What's that? Your body is preparing to create life inside you. You get a lot of new feelings that are completely normal. Ah, uh, okay. And you'll bleed for three to five days from your vagina. Ew, yikes forever. You will also suffer each month for many, many years. And society will treat you like garbage. Are you for real? Yes, I am. I think I need some emergency glitter. <laughs> ah, so much better. I mean, when you put it like that, I mean... Oh, we actually get the sprinkle. Benjamin. <laughs> there are coins at the bottom of the fountain. Yes, those are people's wishes. Can one pay for wishes? People nowadays think they can buy everything with money. I wish I could throw a coin and ask for my happiness <coughs> back. Also, that Benjamin transform into a good foxy because I would totally go out on a date with him if he was good. Mm. Are you done here, Miss Fortune? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the hiccups? I think we already did that. Yeah. Okay. I wish I could write Japanese so I could send a cute postcard to my friend Hiro, but. Where does a ghost live? Stop lying, Miss Fortune. Ghosts are not real. You're <laughs> just jealous because you don't have a ghost friend. <laughs> I believe it. Ah, look at those sweet flashes. They could be all my babies. Don't get too attached to those toys. Don't worry, I'm just looking. Why is it every time she says something, you gotta chime in? Like, well, oh, that will be great. We gotta go to this gate looks six. like the way to the wolf. Yes, let's go then. It was number six, right? Yeah, okay. A polar bear. Meat popsicle, the polar bear. Oh my. Looks like this area is closed to the public. Oh, damn it. Oh. You will have to sneak past the janitor to get to the other side. Don't let her see you. Otherwise, she will lock you in and call your mommy. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm like a sweet little ninja. I could hide behind those boxes, right? Great idea. Hide behind a box until she turns her back to you. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay. Meet Popsicle the polar bear. Did I say polar bear earlier? <laughs> Look, the bear in the picture is sucking a Popsicle. <laughs> It looks like it's strawberry flavored. Mmm, yummy. Oh. Oh. Like a little ninja lady. Well done, Miss Fortune. Now, wait for her to turn her back to you and... And then kill her from behind? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? That's what the ninjas do in movies. I've seen, like, all of them. Don't tell mommy. Well... This isn't a movie, so just do as I say. When she turns around, you can jump out and keep moving. Ah, uh, all right then. It just looked a lot cooler on TV. Is that a bird? <laughs> it's a bird. Is that... Oh. I'm like a 
Shadow Ninja Master. She never saw me. Don't celebrate just yet. There's one more box you have to sneak past. You better watch me when I nail this one. Oh, that's just we. I thought I thought I was gonna get caught right there. She fell, so. Don't turn around. Why did I fall? Uh, Why am I falling? I made it. Little Ninja Lady is the best. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Ninja Lady, I got an achievement. <laughs> We're getting pretty close. What would have happened if I got caught? He said something about me lock getting locked up. Oh, look at those things. I don't, I don't know what this is called. This one looks like the other one that didn't look like the other ones. You see? Yes. So you know. Yes. <laughs> oh, look. It fit. Oh, boy. The path to Sonar City is twisted by the malevolent games from the beyond. What? A path? Twisted to where? Don't pay any attention to these silly rocks. Who's leaving these behind? Do I take women? Is it Benjamin? I don't want to blame anything on him. Here we are, and nobody's us coming. You really proved your ninja skills back there, Miss Fortune. But I'm pretty sure I was the best at hiding back there. No, that doesn't count. You're not a little lady like me. You're just a boy. Oh, you'll see. I'm much, much more than that. However, now you should go and meet the wolf. Got it. Meet the wolf, maybe pet it, and get Benjamin's address. Like <laughs> a ninja. Why you say it like that? You sound so malicious. It's locked. I need a key for this. Yes, you do. All right, let's, let's find the key then. It says Canis Lupus, also known as the Big Bad Wolf. His favorite snack is red hooded little girls. That's silly. <laughs> Remember the missing children? Mm hmm. Maybe he's behind it all. You think oh, he's wow. eating the children? Who knows? <gasps> You're right. We should call the cops on him. No. We don't want to get involved with the police. Ah, uh, okay. Wow, okay, blame the fox. All right. Look, there's a note. It must say where the fox lives. We need to take it. Uh, I can't reach it from here. We need to find a key to open the cage. I'll find that key. You'll see. Wait, so you want me to open the open the cage and let the thing out? Hello. Are you Benjamin's cousin? You know. That fluffy fox with the most dearest big blue eyes. <laughs> no? I don't know anyone called Johnny. Who's that? I'm talking about Benjamin. He's this sweet looking fox that ended up stealing my happiness. I'm not that into him anymore. Maybe you should stop talking to him and find a way inside the cage, Miss Fortune. Ah, uh, alright. I'll be back, Wolf, and we'll sort this out about Benjamin. Show is rushing us. And who's Johnny? Is that Benjamin's real name? Do you think there could be a game there? I don't know. Let's go and see. Quietly. Like a little ninja. Got it. Like little lady misfortune. The ninja lady. <laughs> Ninja Lady has entered the room. We need to find a key now. I told you already. I'll find it. You'll see. Watch and learn how to find a key. Okay, let's go find that key then. Any keys inside the bucket? Nah. What's she putting in her pocket though? No key inside, but you know, these boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. <laughs> Miss Fortune, focus. Okay, okay. That reminds me of Shrek for some reason. I'll check those buckets. Mm, look, I found a paper with some numbers on it. Keep it. It might be helpful. Okay. What are there, eight? 
six, four, five. Eight, six, four, five. It says, safety rules for handling the big bad wolf. If the wolf runs at you, ready to attack, then you shall not have any regrets about your life because you will most probably die. <laughs> <laughs> so if I don't have regrets, the wolf will let me pet it? What? <laughs> That's interesting. Huh, a secret inside? Fancy! What was it? Wait, was it? Eight, six, four. Wait, no, this can't be it, cause no, nah, this can't be it. I ain't, I don't know what the code. That was, that was four numbers. That has five. Oh, another doll. Is there a key in here? Cool, another doll. When broken hearts are chosen to receive the gift from the beyond. When broken hearts are chosen to receive the gift from the beyond. A gift, you say? Are we referring to the internal happiness? What's that? Nothing. How many is that? Four or five? <laughs> mm. Do I smell tea? Fancy! Alright, so we gotta figure out that code. That was five numbers. The one I got on the paper was four. You think we can find some information in here about the key? Sure. I don't see why not. Check out my computer skills. I bet the password is this one. Wait, Miss Fortune. I think you're holding the paper upside down. Don't interrupt me. Oh. I know what I'm doing. Keep quiet. Is she holding it upside down? Eight. That says six. Four, five. Nope. Okay. So is it five, four, six, eight? Oh, yeah. Okay. Miss Fortune Ramirez Hernandez is a computer scientist. You really surprise me. <laughs> a private shot. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Popsicle? Is that a code? <laughs> Talk about crazy. Urania? Now you say it? Hi, you there? Yeah, I was on the toilet. <laughs> LOL, OMG, wait, WTF. No need, no need that information. How's that ear infection? It's fine. Super, we can talk more. Let's talk some other time. Take care. Oh my god, that emoji. Oh my gosh, this is so stupid. I forgot to tell you tell you about there is a spare key inside the safe. If you need it, if you need it sometime, it opens all the doors and cages. Code 27581. Hmm. Alright, okay, I don't think I need it at the moment. I already have one, but thanks. Today, feeling much better today. How's the bear doing? You keep sucking that popsicle. That normal? No, I'm not sure. But I like to watch. I know well, gotta go fix Calvin's cage. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 27, 5, okay. 27581. Watch, I'm in a forgetting. Alright, okay, so I think I think we got it now. Okay, 27. Five, eight, one. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's the key. Nice. Yes, I'm the best little ninja lady. I got the key. All right, let's go get that fox. Well done, I mean, Miss Fortune. The wolf. Very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. There's another bird. It's watching. Let's get up. We get caught. Why was he staring? Why would he like watching the polar bear do that to the popsicle like that? Yikes. Uh, uh huh. Time to meet the wolf. Uh -huh. Come, Wolfie, come. <laughs> no, 
not gonna get me, are you? Oh. Only pet you. I'm a nice person. <gasps> Wolfie? Ah, oh, damn it. What scared him away? Why can't a little lady just pet the wolf? Oh, that was unexpected. <laughs> not to me. Animals usually run away from me. That's too bad. But hey, the note is right there. I'm gonna take it. Why do you sound so disappointed? My evil cousin's address, Fox. I can't pronounce that. It says, my <laughs> evil cousin's address. Fox, Spooks, Tegan, 15. Open fields. Okay, we got it's the address. Penguin's address. Good. Now we can get that stolen happiness back. All right, sweet. It looks like the fastest way to the Fox is by boat from Phantasmagoria. Wait a minute. Are you telling me we are going to Phantasmagoria? It seems that way, yes. Oh, sweet. I always wanted to go, yes. <laughs> Why wait? Why is there his dress in there? His address in the cage anyway? Are you up for another round of questions while we walk? Sure. My question answering skills are all warm up. Great, great. And as usual, just be honest, and you'll do fine. <laughs> First okay. question: Have you ever heard this question before? Have you ever heard this question before? Yes. Yes. All right. Second question. Have you ever lied to a friend? <laughs> Have I? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the fact that I have to think about this. I mean. What happens if she says yes? I do it all the time in school. Oh. Charlene? Still believes my daddy comes and picks me up after school. I just walk behind the trees and sneak home when she's not watching. That's, That's sad. Yeah, so it's sad. sad. If you say so. Now, for the last question. Have you ever seen someone die? Like, take their last breath? No. Well... No. But I've seen people on their deathbed. But to actually, like see them being pronounced dead or something no well she did say earlier that she saw a man floating in the lake I saw granddad die it was very calm not like in the movies it was different I told him to come haunt me as a ghost but he hasn't done it yet thank you for your honesty again Miss Fortune mm -hmm. you're welcome we're getting really close to Phantasmagoria now yeah, I can hear. <laughs> Exciting. I look, he feel like he's asking me those questions and not misfortune. Damn. Ugh. Wow, this looks like the creepiest place to ever exist. So scary. I wish I had a ticket to ride, though. Really? But hey, what's that falling just in front of you? Oh, Please, don't play with my feelings. It can't be a ticket. Are you sure? It looks like a ticket to me. It can't be, but I'll check it out. Alright. Is that a skeleton? <gasps> Crap. <-er. laughs> oh, yeah. Some just ain't right about this. <laughs> what? A ticket? For real? Sweet and spooky. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Miss Fortune. Now, let's go find a boat to the fox, remember? Mm-hmm. Okay, have to take a screenshot. <laughs> a ghost! Damn, that's creepy. Miss Fortune, please mind your language. But I got scared. It's totally understandable. That's exactly. no excuse. Okay. It says, Welcome to Phantasmagoria. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, so All right, so we're here at Phantasmagoria. I don't know what's in store for us after this, but I am gonna leave this episode right here. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.